Clipper TV. Don't forget it. Clipper TV. Don't you sweat it. Cause we got all your news and a few interviews. Cause it's Clipper. Clipper TV. Good, Good morning, morning YHS. YHS. How's everybody doing? Back with another Clipper TV episode. Finally, we're back with another Clipper TV episode. Mm -hmm. You guys have been led on for years. We got a trailer last year with no return. And finally, we've put in the work to bring you guys what you've been looking for. This month's edition was the Thanksgiving break edition. So, Jasper, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Thanksgiving food, flat Stanley, and uh, loaded fries day in the cafeteria. All right, let's ask the rest of YHS. Here's Kat. Um, what are you thankful for? It's Thanksgiving, so I got... I got stuffing, I got mashed potatoes, I got turkey. What more is there to life? What are you thankful for? School lunch is pretty good. School lunch. I see that. Wow. Um, Matt, what are you thankful for? A plate to eat on. I'm thankful for Sut Doge. Thanks, man. Oh. What are you thankful for? I'm, I'm thankful for my carrots. <laughs> I love my carrots. You see that? Yeah. Huh? I think the middle's the best part. <laughs> what are you thankful for? <clears throat> I am really thankful for... M oh, yeah, I got to look at the camera. I am thankful for uh, a healthy family and for my oldest daughter coming home soon. Very thankful for that. Um, I'm thankful for all of my wonderful students and how awesome they are this year. I have a question. What are you thankful for? Um, friends. My friends. <laughs> friends, family, and the earth. Uh, my parents, my friends, and uh, doing nothing and be able to just sit and relax. That's the best feeling in the world. What are you thankful for? Uh, getting good grades, having a good family, uh, having a good culture basketball. All right, I'm here with Ian, a loyal member of Global Action Club and a sophomore. What are you thankful for? Uh, probably for our healthcare system and how advanced it is so that we don't have to worry about all this stuff that third world countries, or not third world countries, we're not allowed to use that term actually. It's developing countries yeah. is what they told us, so yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm here with Mateo. Mateo, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? About what? What are you thankful for? Oh, definitely like that I get to be in this town because we probably have one of the best education systems in Maine. Right and on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that sure did rock my world. Next, we're going to hear from Mr. Hill about his touch tank. Hello, welcome. Oh, welcome. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. All right, come on in. All right. What is this, Mr. Hill? <laughs> this is a 100-gallon marine touch tank that was generously f funded by the Yarmouth Education Foundation. I love it. Um, what critters do you have in the tank? We have a variety of critters. So there are actually two types of hermit crabs. There are sea anemones. There are lobsters and baby lobsters. Uh, there are snails and probably some other things. On the, oh, there's some shrimp, too. Do they ever eat each other? Well, so the sea stars, many people call them starfish, but the proper name is sea stars because they're not really fish. Um, they are voracious predators, and they tend to eat a lot of the shellfish that are in there. But the mussel and clam numbers go down when the sea stars eat them all. So, approximately how many lost souls are there in this tank? Ooh, I'd say at least a dozen. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I actually want... So, Mr. Hill, what do the other critters in here eat? So, nicely enough, most of the other critters can survive just on shrimp that you get from the grocery store. And, as it may be right now, very convenient, I'm going to feed the critters. So... <laughs> These are some shrimp that I have defrosted, and basically just take off the, uh, the outer exoskeleton here, kind of the shell. Don't even have to clean it because, you know, the critters in here, they like to eat just about everything. So we'll just take the shell off, 
And what I do is I just kind of break it up into pieces so that everybody kind of has a fair shot at eating the shrimp. And the sea stars will even eat this as well. Um, but the crabs really love it. And they'll kind of go after it. And the lobsters will come out for it. Thanks, Mr. Hill. Now, we learned about capitalism's favorite holiday, Black Friday. Jasper, what did you do for Black Friday? I actually went to Best Buy, and there was, like, just so much commotion. Uh, so you could kind of just take things. So you didn't have to pay. It was, I got three flat screen TVs, so it's a good day. That's the goal of the holiday. Now let's hear from YHS. Good. Do you guys have any um, Black Friday stops you're going to definitely make? Okay. What's going to be your first Black Friday stop, both of you? Uh, I don't participate in that. Okay. And? Mine's definitely going to be to buy some more Powerade. What's going to be your first Black Friday stop? Uh, that's a good question. No, pro nah, probably Walgreens. Why? <laughs> they have a lot of cheap stuff there. <laughs> some post-Thanksgiving treatment. <laughs> Do you guys have any um, Black Friday stops that you're going to make? Um, probably Boston. Oh, that's okay. Maybe Best Buy for a Christmas gift for my brother. Patagonia. Mexico Cali Blues. H&M. Uh, American Eagle. PacSun. What's going to be your first Black Friday stop if you go shopping? Can't say. Mobile. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Next, we got the inside scoop on sports from William. No, no, it's Liam. Oh, uh, Liam. So here's Liam with sports. What's okay, what's your name? My name's Liam. William. Liam. Liam. Okay. Back to that. Uh, are you doing a winter sport? I'm not doing a winter sport. I'm lazy. Did you do a fall sport? Uh, no, I'm also lazy. Are you doing a spring sport? I'm also lazy. Do you do any clubs? Uh, spike ball. Spike ball, that's a sport. That's a good sport. I love spike ball. All right, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Liam. Finally, we took a closer look at some awesome Yarmouth High School personalities. This is me and my girl crush, Olivia. Olivia, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my friend Paige. I'm thankful for her Subaru Outback and every Subaru Outback that resides in Yarmouth. Cheers. <laughs> Ready? It's rapid fire. We're getting every single one of you. Are you ready? All right, first say your name. Chloe. Victoria. Lauren. Maddie. All right, uh, I'm going to go down the line. Each of you get a different question. You have to answer as fast as you can. Your favorite farm animal? Cow. Favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, chocolate. Favorite teacher? Uh, Miss Hansen. Favorite letter in the alphabet? Um, Z. All right. <laughs> Show us your best softball thing. Softball, softball. Whoa! We're now we're here with Cassie, who's the neighbor of a celebrity. Tell us your favorite thing about G. Hanelius. Um, she has a really pretty house. Yeah. Tell us your favorite shade from her nail polish collection. Oh, G polish. Um, any sort of beige color. Yeah. Okay, G. Hanelius, thank you, Cassie. Let's hear your favorite trait about G. Hanelius. Well, number one, she did donate to the Senior Class Council bottle drive, and number two, Cassie and I see her mom walking all the time. Oh my gosh. Guys, I've seen her three times. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're here with Gwyneth Owen. We're doing a fit check right now. Fit check. Okay, I have platform Crocs. Peep them, peep them, peep them. Um, Levi, Levi's vintage Levi's that I got in Paris thrifting, no biggie. And then um, the Nordic jacket You're I have, not, but I have not skied in two years. Word, thank you, Gwen. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. For <laughs>